hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today's video we are going uh, going to talk about dotnet sdk installation uh, which is a cross platform for development and uh, that too we are going to talk specially about on apple silicon like if you are using an apple m1 m2 or m3 so primarily uh, people have worked on dotnet uh, uh, platform uh, normally using on windows based machines but as microsoft is evolving they are uh, getting this uh, .NET uh, framework as well as .NET Core, they aligned it into a one single unit. And now the .NET SDK is available for Apple uh, Silicon also, like a native version. So fundamentally, we'll be learning how to uh, install .NET SDK uh, on the Apple uh, Silicon machine. This video is primarily for that. And in the coming videos, I'll be actually explaining how to actually create different types of uh, applications using the same .NET uh, SDK installation on uh, Apple Silicon. Like for example, you want to create a web-based application or a console-based application or an ASP.NET uh, minimal application. So that's what we'll learn. Uh, before we actually delve into practical, uh, somewhat about .NET framework, if you are not aware, uh, .NET Framework is modern cross-platform framework developed by Microsoft and primarily we could use it for web-based applications, console-based applications and cloud-native applications, specifically for uh, Apple Silicon. Of course, you could develop uh, uh, Windows-based applications uh, or MFC-based applications exactly on uh, uh, the Windows-based stuff, but on Apple uh, Silicon, uh, we have a choices of web-based, console-based or cloud-native applications. Uh, the latest version of .NET Framework is 8.0, which uh, we could use. Uh, that, that's what it is available even for Mac OS, the Apple Silicon, as well as on Windows and Linux. We, but primarily this, win, uh, this uh, particular video is dedicated to install uh, the .NET SDK on Apple Silicon. And uh, when you are working with the .NET Framework on Apple Silicon, uh, primarily you would have uh, some choices of the tools. Either you could use Visual Studio Code for Mac OS, uh, which is natively available. That's one of the most popular tools used by the developers. You would, of course, need .NET 8.0 as an SDK, or if you have some old version, let's say 7 or 6, whatever the versions are, you could use that version. And we could also use Visual Studio for Mac OS Community Edition. This is more like a full-fledged Visual Studio that uh, people have been using on Windows. Uh, but unfortunately, going forward, Microsoft is not going to release next versions of that. This is the only release and they'll be just giving up some support for this particular product in the coming times. Uh, but uh, having said that, Visual Studio Code for Mac OS is as good as uh, the Visual Studio. You will get all the extensions or whatever you need for the development purposes. It is easily collaborated with Git. You could do it with the Azure or even the GitHub or Azure DevOps. So it all looks good. So let's not waste more time on that. I think so we have uh, sufficient information and what we are trying to do within this video. So let's see how we could install the basic prerequisite in order to do development on Apple Silicon is to get your .NET SDK installed on Apple Silicon. So friends, uh, I have actually opened up a page for uh, downloading the .NET cross-platform um, uh, SDK. And uh, if you see, there are different supported versions which are there. Some are for long-term support, LTS, which we normally call. .NET 7 is a standard term support. And it is in the active uh, maintenance mode. Some is in the active mode. So it all depends upon which one you are working. You are already working with some framework or you want to latest one. So you could install that. Uh, I'll be actually posting this uh, link for this uh, uh, download page uh, within the description of the video. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, in order to work uh, and demonstration of this video, so we are going to use the .NET 8.0. So once I click on that, uh, it actually uh, sends me around different options to uh, start working with down, uh, downloading the .NET 8.0. So if you want to build apps, you need a SDK. An SDK is nothing but a software development kit, which you need. And it has different uh, installers for different OS. 
and uh, primarily for the Mac OS, uh, we could inst we could use the binaries also, or we could use the installers. And because um, uh, Apple uh, M1 or Apple Silicon is ARM-based, 64-based processors, if you are running, uh, let's say, or using any uh, Apple machine which is built with Intel, so that would be represented by x64. But because we are primarily focusing on .NET installation on Apple uh, Silicon, so we'll just click on this. So to download the, uh, what you call as uh, uh, the SDK. So once that uh, package is downloaded, uh, which it is there, so I'll just open that file. And uh, so it says, welcome to the uh, .NET uh, uh, SDK 8.0. This is an ARM64 installer, which looks fine. Uh, some information about that go to the next uh, standard information about how much space it is gonna occupy and even if you want to change the install location and if I just install that okay it is gonna ask you for the password uh, let me just use my password and it is gonna install uh, the dotnet SDK 8.0 and uh, I'll just cancel this. Okay, that looks fine. Uh, everything looks fine. .NET SDK 8.0 and .NET Runtime is also installed and ASP.NET if you want to run, let's say .NET applications on web. So that is also installed. Now, once I click closed, uh, it just asks whether you want to remove the package from and move it to the trash or you want to keep it. So let's say I just want to keep it. It would still be there for the installation. Now, one of the things in order to test and verify whether the .NET SDK has been installed on your Apple Silicon or not. So what I can use is I can use a terminal window. And once I use a terminal window, it actually opens it up. And if everything is fine, I can just use .NET minus minus version. So if I do that, it actually shows me 8.0.100. So it means .NET framework is perfectly installed. There's no issue. And now we could actually use the .NET. Uh, so let's say you say .NET minus minus help. So it would uh, give you all the help about different uh, options that you could use, like create those applications, build, clean, format, all those like whatever you want to do that. Uh, so we'll be coming up with those videos to actually use that. But right now we are just uh, want to check whether the version is installed and it, it looks fine, which it is. So my friends, this is how you can install the .NET framework on your Apple Silicon machine. Uh, once it is installed, you could start developing those applications. I'll be coming up with more videos in a series where I'll show you how to use uh, this .NET SDK to create console applications or let's say applications with entity framework or minimal applications like ASP.NET Core or standard MVC applications. So I'll be showing it up. So stay tuned. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe it and press the bell notification. Uh, I hope uh, it, it is going to help you out. And if you have any issues or installation, just post comments on my video. I'll try to kind of respond as early as possible. Have a good one. Thank you.